recording. Yeah, no problem. So, so hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us in our Value Up webinar series. I am Walid Mazen, your host for today's webinar, founder and managing director of Vivir. We are very excited to have you here today with us to listen to Ritsu Shingo-san talk about the role of a leader engaging them and motivating people. A oh, brief, really? <laughs> and brief introduction to our speaker today, Sensei Ritsu Shingo. Sensei okay. Ritsu was the founder and the president of the first Toyota plant in China. He joined Toyota in 1970 and took various management roles at Toyota Group Worldwide, including Numi and Kentucky plants in the US, okay. as well as UK, Japan, and China. He is known inside Toyota for his success in creating startups and joint ventures. In 2001, he was named one of the 10 most powerful people in economy in China. So the session will be one and a half hours uh, long with one hour presentation from Ritsu San, and then we'll be taking questions after that. So I would ask everyone to keep your mic closed and all yours, Ritsu San. Oh, Nihal san, can I start or you 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 might Yes, you something? can start. You can start. I, I'll share. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, please show the slides to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yes, engaging, motivating. Okay, agenda. Oh, experience. People engage, motivating, reading. For example, three hundred. Okay. Okay. My name is uh, Mitsu Shingo. Yeah. I, as I, I was in, introduced here. Yeah. I joined Toyota 1970, quite a long time ago, and more than 40 years, uh, I, I worked for Toyota, and I, I listed my experience here, mainly in, in, in abroad. The half of my experience was in abroad, more than 20 years. My first year, Numi joint venture with GM, Second, the Kentucky project. The third is the uh, UK, Toyota UK project. And uh, after that, I, I've been to the uh, China to, to start the uh, Sichuan Toyota joint venture. That was the first organization uh, Toyota has established in China. Then uh, I, I moved to Toyota Beijing office. Yeah, this is the uh, Startup of uh, Kentucky, Kentucky plant. Oh, this is the uh, startup uh, for Toyota UK. And this is the uh, group picture of my Chinese people for startup. My main product product was Costa minibus. Next, please. Yeah, as, as I was introduced, the, I was selected uh, as just a one foreigner. The other people are all Chinese, like a top management CEO. Just one of them. Uh, this this is the uh, Green Book. Uh, th this is a very famous book uh, introduced to the United States and the published in the United States. And I, I tried to translate. Uh, it was a very poor English, but I tried to communicate uh, uh, content of my father's book uh, to the uh, people abroad. This is called Green Book. Next, please. Oh, this is the uh, uh, how 
we can manage people. I, I myself do not like the term manage. Or it, it, it sounds like a, something like some country controlling people. Uh, Rich, uh, and the mic has a sound, uh, an echoing sound. We can't hear you really well. Can you hear me? Perfect, yes. We can hear you really well. Much better. Much better? Uh, the, much louder? Yes. Louder. It's good. It's, no, it's good. It's good. It's clear. Oh, the the sound level is okay. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Then, uh, uh, <clears throat> I try to explain my my thinking. The uh, I, I said the I I don't like the personally I don't like the term uh, manage. It it sounds like a controlling. Well, handling people, but the we we should work with the people. People should be in the core. The the management should support the people. So more uh, mixed up. So human human relationship is most difficult factor. Wherever you are, uh, what is the position doesn't matter. Top management, middle management, always there's very it is very difficult to handle people or talk with people, communicate with people. So generally speaking, people will not won't listen to or try to resist. Normally, when you try to tell the people some improvement idea or something, they know better than you. They are used to do it for a long time. So it's very difficult. E even my father was very, very famous uh, consultant. Uh, he, he was handling more than 120 uh, companies in Japan. The later, after 60 years old, uh, he was out of Japan. He went to the United States and tried to help the US companies, US people, uh, how to do the improvement. Then later, he went to the uh, Europe. So both in, in the United States, Europe, he made a lot of uh, conference speech, consulting work, but even he, he, as a famous consultant, but he faced a lot of difficulty when he tried to improve some situation. So then what we should do? I, I, I say, be patient and take, take your time. It is not an easy one. It is a difficult thing to challenge. Be patient. And as a top leader, listen carefully what they insist, what they are talking about. So try to discuss individually. And very important thing is show them the result of your idea, if possible, without showing what you did, what with, with the of course cooperation of the uh, participants, people. But if you don't show the result, they don't understand. If you can let them understand, it is the foundation of the father development. So uh, as a leader, I always tell the people that first you should listen carefully and you should watch, observe carefully. I, I always 
tell the people you should have a big ear. Big ear means means uh, listen carefully. And big eyes means watch, observe carefully, but not big mouth. Uh, so listen and observe carefully is very important because listen carefully and observe carefully means try to grasp the fact, what the situation is without knowing the fact of the situation, how you can improve the situation. To do that, get the right information by hearing, listening, and observing. So that is the basic attitude of, of the people, of the top management. Next, please. Total participation. This is the concept of TPS. The participation of floor workers or office workers is very important. So everybody should participate, basically. That is the basic thinking. The people, operators, do not do what is told, but they should participate in the improvement activities. If they participate, then that will create the ownership. They own the idea. The, they own the idea of improvement. If they own, they can uh, sustain. They can do. Quite often I heard uh, it is very difficult to set up the good culture in the plant. They, the people do not listen to. Uh, people do not do uh, what is told. So sustainability is very difficult. But if you do not request the people to join the uh, discussion, improvement idea, very, very difficult. So ask them to join the idea, activity. Uh, once I, I've been to the uh, Mexico and uh, I have visited the uh, very world famous uh, bus companies, uh, then, then uh, one, one of the uh, human resource manager came to me. She was not a member of participants, but she came to me asking uh, how to establish the uh, good culture in the plant, she mentioned. And I, 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 I have asked her how often you have been to the plant. She said, never, never been to the plant. I told her, oh, no way. Without knowing what's going on in the plant, how you can establish good a good culture in the plant. So I took her and her subordinate, her people, about 10 people together to the plants to let them meet the uh, 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 participants, no, uh, plant, plant people, operators. Then what, what she told me is the once the human resource people uh, was uh, in, in the plant, the uh, Operators will be scared. Or oh, human resource people came to the plant to evaluate us. So maybe they might change uh, the, their salary pay uh, to them. So they are scared. So I I, I told the operator, uh, introducing them uh, of the uh, human resource people. Don't be scared. They, they come to the plant to help you. They are friends. That, that's how you, 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 should, you should create a good communication. So that, that, that is the uh, planting good culture. 
they get the ownership. One another example is the uh, when I hold the Gemba me Gemba walk meeting, the I, I I've requested the company to management to invite the operators into the uh, discussion, and they are so pleased. They mean the op operators are very pleased to join. They said they have never been invited to the uh, uh, discussion, like a meeting by, by managers or foreman. So I, I asked them to join the meeting and they, they are very actively uh, express their opinions. Then I let them speak to the improvement idea to everybody. That's the that would create good ownership. That leads to the sustainability. That leads to to enable create culture. So joining, inviting is very important. Next, please. Oh, employee retention. The my my generation has have, have never thought about changing company. But the younger generation, even in Japan, might feel to change the job or uh, easily. They they don't need to stick to one company. So that is a tendency. The, my, my opinion is maybe if people try to change the job, change to the another companies, maybe there might be a reason or maybe something wrong. That's why people would like to leave. So I, I quite often recommend the company if uh, someone would like to leave the companies, please uh, conduct the interview, asking why they would like to leave. You should know the reason. Then you might have certain countermeasure for the future. So that, that is very important. Know the reasons. And you, you should rectify the situation. And just paying more is not the only reason to stay. Employees should be paid fairly, yes, and should be respected, yes, and treated like a team members, yes. People should feel comfortable to stay there. Otherwise, they want to leave. So always I tell the people, the operators or, or company people should be happy at home and should come to the office happily or sh should come to the plant happily and leave the plant happily. So three happy situation, happy in home, happy in, in the plant, happy in, in the home, be back home. So as a company person, top management, you should make them feel happy in the company. So you, you should know what they are feeling. Then you should keep the better situation for them. Next, please. Oh, Nihasan. Next slide, please. Oh, the uh, recruiting, hiring people. First, don't hire too many people. Try to get the more productivity. That means the uh, try to try to uh, train them. Try to let them be more produ productive. Productive. So 
that that is basic point. People should feel more safe at work. They want to stay with the company. They want to contribute to the company. Let them feel like, like that. They want to improve the company. Yes, people would like to improve the company. Then uh, create the good relationship. Then that is win-win situation. So in a world, in a sense, people should be happy. People, they don't only come only for the money. They should find something else. That is very important. Next, please. Next, the uh, leadership. Always I explain uh, to the people that Shinaka uh, Miseru, that is in English, show your back. And the Ken Snyder, he is the top of the Shingo Institute, told me he, he, he knows, he, he can speak and knows uh, good Japanese. And also, of course, he, he can speak English. And he, he mentioned to me, show your back means lead by examples. The, the uh, top management people should show the good behavior, good attitude to the people. Otherwise, they don't follow you. Then how can you show? My, these are the, uh, my example. The, I, I pick up some of the example. One of the example which I did when I was in, I was a president of the Chinese joint venture company. Then I, I was entitled to, to use the buy mid-sized uh, cars like Toyota car, Camry. But I, I didn't write, I, I don't like to use company money. So I, I called my Beijing office and give me Carora, used car. Then they gave me, and I, I drove Carora uh, myself. And I asked the other people, we have sent 10 people from Toyota as a management, and 10, 10 people from the Chinese uh, parent company. So I, 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 I asked the, my people, to the people to use the copy high yes, very cheap car. So I try to reduce the, the, the expenditure to use the cars. Then the uh, later, Mr. Chen, the general manager of the uh, joint venture, uh, general manager of administration came to me and asked me to buy by them the uh, cars, new car for commutation from their resident area to uh, the company. And I asked, what would you like? Of course, I didn't, I didn't think to force them to buy used car, no. They normally, Chinese people insist what they have as a title. So I thought they insist to buy the new car, like Camry, mid-sized car, but he didn't. Mr. Shingo, please buy, buy them, I think a four or five, the ten, Tenjin Charade. The Tenjin Charade is a small compact car that was very cheap, cheap in price and cheap in quality, but they, they requested me to buy cheap cars. Then later, again, he came to me to ask me to buy uh, Suzuki Alto. Suzuki Alto, again, very cheap car, but quality is very good. So they try to save money. Why? Because I thought they watched my back. They knew 
that what I, I was doing. I tried to save company money. So they learned the attitude and they followed. Used furniture similar. I tried to buy the used furniture for me and for the vice president, my, my colleague. The, uh, we are sitting in the small same room. So I talked to him, Can I, could I buy the uh, used furniture for you and for me? He said, yes, please go ahead. So I went to the furniture, a used furniture shop and buy us used furniture. Then after that, the uh, Mr. Chen, general manager of administration, Chen, administration, administration came to me requesting me uh, buy the desk and furniture, the chairs for the office workers. Then they show, showed me the uh, sample of the desk and I request, I asked the co cost of the, uh, the price of that office furniture. It mentioned to me the uh, office supplier told more than 500, 540 or 550 renminbi. That was expensive for me, for one person. So I, I, I took Mr. Chen to the uh, used furniture market. He has never been to that market, but we have, we have found the uh, appropriate desk that, that cost about 250 or something. Then when when I when we return to the office, the office office new office furniture supplier brought the uh, lowest end, uh, the uh, desk of the desks, and he he told us it cost four hundred fifty something. Then that was the desk that desk was exactly the same, which we bought at the office office, uh, used office furniture market, 2250. Last year, I, I told Mr. Chen, this is the way to buy something, complete uh, investigation and find the same thing, same desk at the lower price. Again, this is the used furniture. This is one of the show, the example. Economy class similar. I was entitled to use the uh, first, first class or business class when I flew to the uh, suppliers for dealers, but I didn't. I, I, I intended, to buy, intended to buy the economy class because everybody is using economy class. So I tried to buy the economy class to reduce the company cost. Then no stars while sleeping is the, 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 they, the people, dealer or, or suppliers uh, re respected me as a president of the joint venture. So they reserve, reserved the four stars or five stars hotel. Uh, so I, I told the people, of course, Toyota joint venture paid, but they reserved the uh, four stars, five stars hotels. I told them, uh, when I, I get into sleep, the, I try to sleep. If the, uh, there are a lot of stars, I couldn't sleep too shiny. Then once I, I shut my eyes, fall into sleep, I cannot see the stars. So why I need any stars? So I actually, every time I requested them to book me more lower grade hotels. That is no stars while sleeping. This, this is another story about that. <clears throat> because of the, uh, a lot of reduction, cost reduction effort. The company is reducing 
the budget, not using the budget fully. Then the Chinese people told me, in China, if you don't, if you don't use the budget, that means you are not achieving the project as planned. I, I told them, the Chinese management people, no, no way. Toyota, we set the target, yes. I try to achieve the target, yes, but with the minimum cost. So not achieving budget, not using the budget does not necessarily mean not achieving the target. Then when the city mayor visited my plant, I have told them what the effort we are doing to cost, reduce cost. Then I didn't prepare any paper. Normally in China, when you report to the top management like a city mayor, you should prepare the report and nothing else other than report, you, you, you could tell. But without preparing, I explained how much we are doing uh, making effort to reduce cost. Then several days later, I didn't know whether the Mr. One city mayor has understood my intention, but he, he told when he visited another nation owned companies, he told the news reporters, please watch, observe, what the Mr. Shingo, the president of the new company has, has been doing. He was trying not to use company money. He was reducing cost. He was making effort. You should follow his attitude. After that, nobody from the uh, city government people did not ask my Chinese people whether we are consuming, using the budget or not. So that, that, that is the actual good effect of, of the uh, Mr. Wan's city mayor's uh, observation, the hearing of my uh, communication, of my speech. Next, please. That is Senaka Omiseru. Show your back. Oh, what? What's next? Supplier dealer relationship. Okay, this is supplier dealer relationship. Should be win-win relationship. Quite often. Uh, like a position of the uh, stronger position like Toyota, people think we try to sacrifice uh, the, the uh, supplier's profit. Then we don't. We, 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 we try to establish win-win relationship. Then not only win-win relationship, but we, that we make effort to help each other and share the benefit. And we are doing the cost reduction, not price cut. The one, one gentleman from, from Brazil for Nissan Motor did price cut. Price cut means the, uh, when he became the new president of the Nissan Motor in Japan, he requested suppliers and showing them the target price. If you cannot supply the parts under this target price, then come. If not, please leave. So a lot of suppliers should leave. And the news reporter told, wrote the story about his activity as a price cutter. But in my understanding, no way, it is not price cutter. Oh, sorry, he, he, he's a good cost reduction, 
cost cutter, he, the news reporter explained. But he, Mr. Gone, his way of doing is price cutting, not cost cutting. The third way is cost cutting. We try to cost and help each other. We send the people to reduce the cost. And if they can improve, then get the benefit, then we share the benefit. That means the, we, we, we share the profit by, by price. We have, we have never taken away all the, all the profit as a price, no. So that is win-win relationship. That is a way Toyota tried to establish uh, with the uh, suppliers. Thank you. Nihat-san. Thank you, Shingo-san. It's uh, the lecture part give is me, over. Give me yes. one minute, please. <laughs> so I, I'll take the word uh, for a few minutes uh, while Shingo-san is gone. So uh, my name is Nihat Karol. I'm the director of NK Institute, uh, where Shingo-san teaches um, some classes. So we are based in Switzerland, uh, but Shingo-san is based in uh, Japan. So we have some uh, trainings uh, with Shingo-san. I just uh, want to give you an overview of the trainings. And then after that, uh, we will move on to the QA session with Shingo-san. So um, at the Institute, uh, Shingo-san provides three um, trainings. One of them is practical leadership skills. And it's a four week master class for uh, mid and senior uh, level uh, people. And um, so this class will start in January with uh, Shingo-san. And Shingo-san has a very broad uh, experience in leadership. Yes. And um, he was, uh, as you listen to his story, he was able to create a st the first Toyota startup in, in China single-handedly and he was able to turn that into a profit within one year compare that with uh, other car manufacturers which you have in in your mind who has been trying to do it for 14 years and just this year became profitable as a business and uh, which starts with t again <laughs> uh, um, so the other one um, is toyota production system so this is the operational excellence system which is used in uh, inside Toyota and Shingo-san has been practicing TPS for about 50 years now. He started very early because his father Shigeo Shingo was the one of the pioneers of uh, TPS system. So this TPS masterclass is about five weeks and we will start that end of February with Shingo-san um, after the leadership class. And uh, so Shingo-san also does some Gamba walks. So for the ones who are not familiar, Gamba walk is a fundamental concept of uh, Toyota's management style, and it's been adopted by worldwide um, as an interesting management style and where the leader always um, goes to the front line and tries to um, work with the frontline workers to solve uh, problems and improve uh, the business. And uh, we do, uh, because of COVID, Shingo-san cannot do physical Gamba walks, but we organize virtual Gamba walks for training for companies. And this is a half day practice with Shingo-san. He leads us through a company. It could be your company, or it could be if you invite, and it could be some other company. And uh, we go through the company, we observe the process as he says, and then we try to identify some improvement ideas. And he, with under his guidance, uh, we learn how to do the Gamba walk. And um, when uh, Akio Toyota came into power and he said, uh, going to Gamba would be his uh, first principle in leadership. And he adopted the, what Shingo-san calls uh, Gambaism as his main leadership principle. So that's why it's very important. Uh, and that's why, what makes the whole Toyota uh, production system and Toyota leadership works. And uh, some examples, uh, 
from our master classes. We have been doing this since uh, January or February this year uh, with Shingo-san. This is uh, our virtual uh, uh, Gamba walk where we visited a fish packing uh, company in Philippines together with uh, 20 students of Shingo-san. And we observed the processes and we generated about 400 improvement ideas and which resulted in about uh, $10 million of uh, additional profit from unrealized potential. And mind you that this company had a revenue of about 15 million, 10 million additional benefit within half a day of uh, Shingo-san's uh, uh, observation is amazing. So um, for the participants of this talk, um, uh, we offer some, um discounts so please note it down our website it's nkiha.com and if you use the code value up 50 then you will get 50 percent off from the courses that we offer so with that i leave the word to valid maybe to start the qa session thank you very much nihat uh, and ritsu san uh, for basically the presentation. Now we will be taking questions. So the people who are on panelists who would like to ask, if you can raise your hand and just basically start asking your questions, the ones who are still attendees who didn't want to uh, transfer, you can type your questions into the chat box or into the Q&A. So we're open for questions. Uh, I would start, Ritsu San, you've mentioned that basically as a leader you have to show uh, the participants or your people what sort of results or where you want to reach how, how can you show them if they don't if you don't have a physical act, uh, result in front of you how do you make them imagine where you want to go sorry will you kindly a little bit this okay louder sure. speak louder okay. Yeah, sure. You said to show, uh, basically as a leader, you have to show the results. So show uh, your people the results of what you want to achieve. So how, mm -hmm. do you, how do you do that? How do you get them to see the end result? How do you show them? Show them. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the uh, me, it's a leadership is not a one thing. Show, show your back means to you as a leader, you can show by attitude. If you're not doing what you are saying, people will not follow you. But in addition to that attitude, behavior, but you, sh you should discuss, communicate well, listen carefully. And observe carefully like a demba walk then always show them the result the good if something happened and good result report back to them otherwise very difficult to understand so so show by attitude and show the result, yeah, good listener, and yeah, observe carefully, then show the result of the benefit. Then people might trust you. If there's, there's the trust relationship was established, then after that, you can get easier to go ahead. So that, that is show thank you very much i don't know whether i answered your question or not you did you did johan uh if i'm mentioning your name correct if you unmute and you can ask your question uh you're muted uh, you just need to unmute uh, i would like to answer to, to uh, have an, an, uh, an argument to this uh, to your question as well i think it's very very important to show the results not only to the same level where you stay, it's very, very important to show the results and the, the, the good um, experiences to the workforce as well. 
to all the to all the members of the plant, they should know what the in, in a transparent way what's going on. And then you say we'll follow you and uh, in, in, in the different levels of, of, of the workforce. Perfect. Thank you very much for your contribution. Ritsu san, uh, how was it? Um, um, how did you manage to develop the TPS concept in the factory in China? Because that would be an interesting relation. Basically, for us outside Toyota, we struggle. Yeah. So maybe that example of trying to get the concept of TPS into the Chinese factory would help us understand what yeah. sort of approach you've done. Uh, for, first of all, the concept of TPS is either same or similar. <laughs> because I understand TPS, but from my viewpoint, maybe someone else at Toyota Motor might understand differently. So I, I try to tell the people based upon TPS concept. So then everything can be applied to the uh, like a Chinese plant? I don't think so. Pick up suitable tools, like a good communication or go to Gemba and uh, how to do the Gemba walk. Th then you try to apply. Of course, I did not expect the, they understood very well about to the production system, but uh, especially they they came from nation-owned company. And when I visited their plant, they are they were so spoiled. They 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 don't work. They are sleeping in their plant. The the parent company was producing the copy costa. But the workers at the plant was drinking soft drinks and was sleeping. It's a working hour <laughs> and, and reading newspaper, magazine. So they, they, they were not working at all. So I, I was very surprised. Oh, they came, they will come to my plant. So at the time, when I welcomed them to my plant, new, new joint venture, I told them, congratulations, welcome you to my new plant. Then you look very happy because you work for Toyota, well, work with Toyota. But I, I have a worry because I've seen your plant, parent company, as a parent company. No one was working. So normally we, we say we start from scratch, from nothing. But in our case, different. You start from minus. What is minus? That means you are so spoiled. So I told them, to be successful, we sent about 100 people from Japan for, to train the workers. So please try to listen to the workers, no, the uh, uh, trainers from Toyota, Japan, and learn from them, then do it. Without your effort, our success will not be obtained. It's up to you on your shoulder or to be successful or not. It is not Toyota, no, it's you. That, that is the, the opening ceremony we mentioned to them. But after one year, they did a good job. I think our trainer train, train, train the people then they did a good job to make so-so quality 
high yes, uh, no, Costa, sorry, minibus. Then we could sell them to the market, then successful. So how we, we could train me, myself, been to the plant almost half a day. Always I, I was off uh, from my office. I was away from office. I went to the plant to communicate with the people, operators. I went to the uh, purchasing. I went to the uh, marketing. I went to the fi financial people. I always, I, I was out to communicate with a lot of different peoples. That is, for me, that is a way to, to create good relationship with the people. Of course, trainers did a good job. And trainee, that is the uh, workers, did a good job. So without everybody's effort, we cannot be successful. As Niha-san told you, the one year, one business year profit that has never been happened for Toyota everywhere. But in one year, we made a profit. Why? We did a good, lot of cost reduction, yes. We did a lot of training, yes. I myself the, uh, try to sell the uh, vehicle to the customer. Then I went out to meet the customers and uh, we, 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 we share the drinks. The, the, unfortunately, in China, once we set up the table for dinner, the Chinese people like to say, Kampe. In China, it means, in Japan, we, we don't mean to bot bottom up, drink up, no. Just try to sip, it's okay. But in China, when say campaign, then after drinking, they they show their glass on the on the top head, showing nothing left. That it was very difficult for me because I didn't, I don't drink at all, but I try. So a lot of effort. It's a combination of a lot of effort to, to do the uh, TPS. And TPS applied to the place is a little bit slightly different. So TPS at my plant could be different from TPS in Guangzhou plant or Tianjin plant, other plant, or other countries. So. The, the person who are responsible for try to pick up good tool, which is good to apply to the situation. So that is what, what you, you should do. Try to pick up the right tools, the best fit to the situation. Then, then after that, the experience, one year profit, I realized there is no workers problem. Don't blame your workers. If there is a problem, that is management problem. If you don't properly train the people, it is management. Don't blame your workers. That is my lesson from my experience. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So Ignacio, you have a, your hand up, you can go ahead. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, uh, oh, Sensei. Um, just, just a quick question. In, in your experience, and you have worked in many countries, and some of yes. them with heavily unionized. So sometimes <laughs> sometimes yeah. employees listen to unions more than listen yeah, to the that's, leaders. That's right. So how do you deal, and, and what's your recommendation? What's your advice on, on approaching a highly unionized uh, environment? Uh, actually... What I did, I was involved in is the uh, NUMI, NUMI project, joint venture with GM. The UAW was so strong and they set up the uh, union in 
joint, in the joint venture. It was very, very difficult at that time. So Toyota tried to apply TPS. GM tried to educate GM people how to make the uh, smaller cars. But Union, nobody knows what they will respond. But fortunately, we could successfully apply TPS to the union, unionized company. In Kentucky, they didn't come to Kentucky. They tried to unionize in, in the, some of the organization outside of Toyota, but they, they really don't come to, to form, form the UAW activity in Kentucky. So that was very happy. I, I do not have any good answer how to avoid UAW or union. Maybe only way is communicate with, with them. And how you are trying to handle uh, people very kindly how you are going to establish win-win situation, how you are respecting people, then the people do not need to ask union to help. If people are fully satisfied, maybe they don't need to request to the union. So I think that is only way I believe, to make them happy, make operators happy, workers happy. They can survive without any help from union. That, that, that will be only way, make them happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Johan? Yes, uh, I, I would like to introduce myself first. Uh, I was the, the head of uh, idea management of BMW in Munich and uh, had experiences worldwide from our, all, the, all the plants all over the world. Mm. And especially in, uh, in Germany, we had a good, good result. We made the unions or the, oh. the work council, oh. first of all, to theme owners for the mm -hmm. improvement activities as well. Mm -hmm. So they are part of the, of the success of the whole yeah. activities. Good. That's mm -hmm. made uh, at, at, least, uh, um, yeah, at least a very good atmosphere for the whole thing. Yeah, so we, we work together. Uh, um, this was the, 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 the success factor. Oh, good. Working together with the unions and not against each other. Mm, good. Oh, you had a very good experience. That is one of the uh, answer <laughs> how to de deal with or uh, jointly cooperate, not be against. Yes, no, I mean, not against, but cooperate, a kind of friendship is necessary, even with union people. Union people's uh, purpose could be to help workers. Workers working condition, pay everything. So you try to get the opinion of workers and get to make the friendship. So you did a good job. And most of the guidelines of our of our job mm -hmm. are good arguments for the unions as well. Uh -huh. So it helps them to achieve their targets as well. So and it's, yeah, it's a win-win principle. So uh, could help anyway. Thank you. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you could teach a lot of good way <laughs> how to handle unions. Yeah. We have a question from Sensei from Soad. She's asking. Some companies today are so big with a lot of employees mm -hmm. and a leader is too busy with a lot of tasks and job 
for the leader to be able to know everyone mix with them and basically how can the leader manage the gemba floor walks with big organizations when they don't have time they're busy and they can't know everyone in the organization yeah i, I think that oh not stable can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you yes oh okay okay, okay. i think if the big organization and the uh, top management is not big enough to handle the uh, all of of the workers and office workers is very difficult of course if you have a very big organization you should split uh to some people so you you should assign your responsibility to like a like a some management other management people otherwise you cannot handle if you are a single person no way uh there there's no way to communicate well so i think how to make a good organization to listen to carefully to the uh, operators people is very important like a setting like a foreman as a good listener and setting like a, a group leader or the manager or assistant manager or man general manager or directors or you, you set up a right organization otherwise it is very difficult to listen to and also uh carefully observe so be practical a uh, follow up question on this one uh, sensei how can organizations do that today with the change of work which is remote not a lot of people are able to go back into office or to the factory and do tours <laughs> this experience is quite new to me <laughs> i i don't have much of experience <laughs> to 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 meet with the uh, this situation but i was very surprised uh nihatsan set the, this kind of meeting through the computer and uh, make a lot of discussion and also make a gemba walk so of course the important thing is communication communication is the face to face may be better but even uh, communication through the computer would be okay uh, even gemba walk uh, gemba walk through the uh, uh, camera and through the computer it is limited of course i myself cannot stay like a half an hour one hour two hours on, at one spot and closely observe very difficult and i i, I could not see the throughout the plant it's very difficult but still going to the plant going to gemba is very important effective method through the computer so it is limited but we should take advantage of, of the uh, this kind kind of situation the, 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 we we can do it through i i was talking with the uh the white people uh, arab people this is never happened in the past it's very difficult for me to actually go to your country but this computer uh, conference uh enable me to speak to you communicate with you who are never has never been uh, uh met before but this is quite good for me i hope it's good for you <laughs> definitely good for us uh one question is asking about the shingo award uh, by the utah university do uh, you recommend basically for organizations 
to let's say assess themselves against their criteria uh, yes uh, I, I i fully understand that the utah state university formed a single institute and under that organization they are doing or uh, giving single award uh bronze silver and single award three awards and quite often i have visited and to give give awards to the uh, uh, recipient and always what i i told to the recipients like a single award single award is the uh, toppest level and they are assessed by the assigned assessment persons uh, they are professional so they achieved a good uh, record but when i gave or when i give the the uh, award to the recipient always i told them congratulations like uh, you received the uh, toughest grade of the award single award but do not think don't think this is the end of your goal no this is just the beginning of your goal so you should keep going otherwise you might lose your competitiveness and you might lose your business so keep going so assessment is very important and i think first thing the recipient will do is the uh, under instruction of the uh, shingo institute uh you might do a lot of activity improvement activity and then uh, they might assess then get to the a certain point you can get award but do not think that is not the end of the goal your goal is never ending Con continue to going up otherwise you might lose uh, so come sometime i was asked from the uh, the people of the participants of shingo institute conference how long does it take to get the uh, to become lean company my answer is always same oh they they mentioned like a five years ten years they 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 were doing a lot of improvement activity but they don't know they are not so sure how long it requires to become a lean company good companies i i told them always see to the motor they have of course they have been doing tps for a long time more than 50 years or more than 70 years still they are changing still they are changing the tps in the year of 1970 when i joined toyota motor was not longer no longer the tps now because they are changing and i i myself wondering why they this is change because the world is changing that's why you cannot stay at one spot so always keep searching what's going on and you should be flexible you should change yourself so never ending effort that is very important to survive thank you next question sensei is from dua uh, she's asking is cutting labor salaries considered an effective oh. tool the management to generate revenue so cutting salaries for revenue generation or <laughs> reducing the number of people cutting salary that is very 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 easy going way <laughs> i don't like that no increasing the profit by everybody's effort and share the profit profit means the uh, get the salary much higher 
that is more expected way. The, the, that, that, the, the reduction of salary is the uh, simpler way. And that is easy going. That is the type of the uh, management style done by Mr. Gon at Nissan Motor. Toyota, no way, no way. If we are in real trouble, maybe we will ask, request, because we go together. It's a win-win situation, it's Toyota's way. And if we are in trouble, maybe company people will be in trouble. So top management of Toyota should be responsible for to go ahead and get the profit. That is a great responsibility, not cutting, reducing the salary. No, how to increase the salary payment. That is the achievement. The achievement of that is the big, big responsibility of Toyota management. I think, just speaking, all kind of business, top management responsibility is, is find the profit, create the profit, and share the profit with the participants and shareholders. That is my thinking. A uh, question from Ahmed is asking, can you recommend uh, three good books that you can recommend for lean or, the, or three good books to read? <laughs> what would your recommendation be? I, I, I'm very sorry, but uh, <laughs> I don't have any recommendation. Brother, Nihat-san reads plenty of books. Maybe he can recommend me. I, I don't have any recommendation. Nihatsan, do you have? One is my book. <laughs> yeah, of course, the green book, I think uh, that's the pillar. But uh, I won't name any other books uh, besides that. Uh, but I think what you say, Shingo-san, is always uh, better. The books are good. So, um, but uh, doing it and experiencing it and learning it by by doing it is is a lot better than just acquiring the knowledge from the book and most of the time the information is still the same in books or um, from even youtube videos and it's widely available and it's very simple most of the ideas are very common sense even uh, smed the single minute die exchange is a very um a uh, very common sense uh, approach but uh, i think uh, knowing that is something and doing it and experiencing it something else as shingo says always says so you need to just uh, you know pick something very simple and go out and try it and this is uh, all, what shingo san always tells thank you uh thank you very much nihat uh, um and Sirizo, we have a question that um, from Mike asking, Andon uh, is a shop floor technique for supporting problem solving and helping the work improve quality through stop, mm. call, wait mindset. How, yeah. does, how does the invisible Andon, Andon work to demonstrate leadership by example? And what is the management thinking behind this? It, it, it's so... It's not so complicated tool. Andon is a tool, a visual board, uh, hang, normally hanged from the ceiling. Uh, but wherever you, you hang it from the ceiling or attached to the uh, pillar, if it is readable, then okay. Then the purpose of, of Andon is the, uh, to let the people know uh, the uh, current status, like a uh, green means okay, yellow means something wrong, red means line stop. That's the uh, by using Andon, people do not need to attend to the process. If automated, then machine work working 
then if the people attend to the machine, whether the machine is working properly or not, it is not the automation. So by using Andom, people can be away from the process and doing something else while machine is doing the machine work. That's the, uh, by simply watching Andong, if something wrong, the Andong shows which process is what situation. Then whenever people see the Andong, then you can know, oh, something wrong. Line stop at the number one process. Go to number one process to fix it. Thus, the Andong means uh, for me, uh, wherever, wherever you are, you can see. Whenever you want, you can see. Whoever you, you are, you can see. So that, that is whenever, wherever, who, who, whoever is the uh, three principles of Andong. Perfect. Uh, a question from Catherine. Uh, how to ensure safety in the workplace, especially in production lines? What can we do better to teach people to work safely? Oh. I, I think uh, safety is the first priority for Toyota. So we try to keep the workplace safe. Still, we might have some injuries. So whenever something happens, we will do the uh, uh, cause analysis and detect the cause, real cause, and try to avoid that problem. So even safety first, Toyota do not have any injury problem or some difficult problem. Yes, we have, but very, very small. Why? Because we try to uh, uh, improve the situation. The, normally we, we closely watch operators. If the uh, someone is carrying very heavy duty products, we might change. And if someone is working at the uh, risky situation, like a cutting blade is running, and, and if you put into the uh, hand, fingers into the machine, then you cut your fingers, you lose your fingers. That happened. So try to avoid any dangerous process. For, for the uh, stamping, always I told the people in the plant, don't uh, move your body uh, in, under the stamping machine. If you go into the stamping machine and the stamping machine, by some reasons, fall down, you lose your life. So if moving, moving around some aut automated machines, the robots don't go into the, uh, that moving area, away from the, that area. So be, be, be careful, careful observing and do it uh, much easier is very important. Like uh, if the uh, air is not good, like a machining process, we try to clean the air. Then people do not uh, get any lung problems. So always stay in Gemba and find any problems, risky situation, and try to help it. That's how we did. Toyota did a lot of small improvements, but improvement every day, everywhere. 
that is a safety. Thank you. Thank you. Um, one last question um, I would like to ask, what would your advice be to change agents, continuous improvement engineers who are working in organizations in the Middle East, uh, trying to change their culture, trying to implement lean? What would your advice to them be on how they approach the transformation and doing the work? I, I, I think uh, most of the people do not know the real Gemba walk. First, dear, please tell them my definition of Gemba. Gemba used to be a uh, plant, but in my definition, Gemba means the place where actual thing is happening. So whatever the business, you have a Gemba. Then second thing is go to Gemba. And, and do the Gemba walk. That is stay at one spot and closely observe what the operator is doing. Two times, three times, four times, closely watch what they are doing. At least I, I try to stay at one spot about half an hour. Sometime it, take, it took me two hours, three hours or four hours closely observe, otherwise you cannot find. The uh, long time ago, two or three years ago, I, I visited, I have visited the uh, US companies, about 20 companies. They are doing the different business. So different products. So I, 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 I didn't know, I, I was not so sure whether I could make a good recommendation to them or not, but I did. Why? I was thinking. That is the uh, difference of Gemba walk. Gemba walk is completely different. The uh, talent, all, all, almost similar, but attitude of Gemba walk is different. The people of the company do not do any Gemba walk. They don't stay. They, they, they make a tour, plan tour. I, I don't, I didn't. I stayed at one spot, closely observed, until I understand and until I find any improvement area, I, I stopped. That, that's only way, closely observe and listen carefully to the operators. That is, that is only way to make difference. Please uh, try to educate your people how to do the Gemba walk. Then it might be effective. Thank you. Thank you very much. Johan, go ahead. Uh, I heard a very interesting uh, word game in the, in the, the last sentence of uh, Shingo san. Uh, he talked about education. And former, he used the word training. I think this <laughs> is exactly what the difference, what we have to do with our workforce, with our uh, soft uh, floor workforce as well. So we have to mm -hmm. educate them, not only train them. Uh -huh. I can train a dog, he will bring the ball if I run <laughs> the way. But uh, yeah. education means uh, much more. And yeah. I, the, the right atmosphere, the right education, the right yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, climate, that makes us uh, um, successful. Uh, I, I believe you could replace me. <laughs> you, you are a very good teacher. Yeah. Uh, I've never thought there yeah, was a difference between education and training. But you're right. Uh, education sometimes, yes, means. And training, training means uh, use your body. Yeah, on the job training. So both are combination of the uh, uh, good way method to level up people. Yes, I agree. Thank you for your comment. Uh, we have a question that asks uh, since uh, Ritsu san about once we achieve improvements, how do we sustain the improvements? So when we do change, how do we sustain it? I think once you make improvement, like a, a standard is, has been changed, 
but after changing some standard, the workers should follow. It takes time to learn what the standards told them. So it takes time, like uh, two weeks, three weeks to follow the standard. Then once they are doing, that means sustainability. Then even after you, you, your workers can get the sustainability, you might think your standard work should be changed. That is continuous improvement. Thus, the, uh, each step takes time. And how long would depends on the workers and depend on the teachers. So there's no limited, no definite term or definite period of train, or how long it will take to get the sustainability. But it takes time. You closely watch and, and, and know the situation. Thank you. Well, I would like to thank you very much, Ritsu-san, for your this session and being with us today and thank you. Being very generous with sharing your experience your knowledge thank you. and uh, answering all the questions that came uh, in from the participants so i'm very grateful for having you with us today as uh, in the value up webinar and i would like to thank all the audience who've been with us participating and thank asking you. questions so thank you very much for inviting me and sometime in the future, I've never been to your place. So please invite me oh, to fly more. to your place. <laughs> Would love to do that. Hopefully when things become better, I'll get the chance yeah. and we can invite you to yeah. come visit this the, part of the world. The COVID situation should be better. Yeah, yeah. sure. But uh, I enjoyed this meeting very much. Same Thank you here. very much. We enjoyed it very much. Thank you very much, everyone. And bye-bye. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Hey, everyone. See you. Bye bye. See you again.